Hi guys, we made it to Akike. So we've been wanting to come here for a while. We're heading straight away. Uh, so we came obviously from Humstone, from Pika, Humstone here. And we're going right now to do sandboarding. We did sandboarding, sandboarding in Huacachina Peru. This is more official sandboarding, like standing up. So it's gonna be a lot more scary. Uh, and this is one of the main things to do in Akike. So we're gonna do this. And then we're going to get shown around the town by our friend Renee. So uh, let's go sandboard. Let's go. Are they like proper sandboards? Proper sandboards. Yeah. So only any of them? Did those have two? The nice pink one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah see? see? Oh, muchas gracias. Ah, not too heavy. No. They're so cool, so much different to the ones we did before. Yeah. So we still have a three set, so what is it, three? The class is in three. First, we're gonna learn all the positions. Yeah? Yeah. But look on the left, there's like four paths. They've got jumps and stuff. Yeah. You'll be going over the jumps by the end. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a proper lesson we're doing today. So, look at them. Got the proper lovely board. Look how nice these are. They look like yeah. new. And he set out these cones. I'm just hoping we're not going over that hill there. <laughs> Down here, this little slope to start with. So, um, we're going to be terrible. We, we already know we're going to be terrible. I'm looking forward to it because this is flat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is cool. It's going to be awesome. As long though. as I don't have to go on a jump. <laughs> oh, maybe by the end. <laughs> excited? I'm really excited, actually. Really cool. excited. So we are going down. Just don't go too far, Kasha, because you'll end up you know by me. that football pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Where <Where's> off the hill? <laughs> Push the wax in the board. Push it in, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Muy bien y muy bien. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see your pose. Yeah. Okay. Eso, muy bien. Rodillas. Yeah. Cuando vayamos bajando, una sola posición ahí. Ok. okay. Muy bien. Eso es muy bien, mantén. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> muy bien, mantén no. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Kasha. Muy bien. <laughs> this, is, this land is very fast and very easy. Uh -huh. This is easy. For the kids, for children. <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding the it so far? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah? Yeah, but I'm scared of what's happening now. So we're going more advanced slope now. Oh my God. Yeah, I think that must be the start. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> must be tiring. Yeah. I hope you're ready for some speed. <laughs> I needed those few hours in my So we're going to use a lot of his footage now. So I might put this away for the second. Concentrating on filming and doing this is a little bit tricky. So in order for me to properly enjoy it, I think I need to use his footage. This is going to be a fast one. Good luck.
Wow! Woo! You uh, paste my head onto his body. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing it down here. Let's go around and look. Woo! How's that for a view? some craziness in action we are definitely not sandboarding we're going down on our bums on this one yeah i mean we we don't no, don't mean we're falling over we're literally going to sit on our bums and go down <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, here we go you can see something special God, like zipping yourself while going no chance wow that looks impressive yeah wow <laughs> so I made it down to. Uh, I think Cash went a bit faster than me. Yeah, I went much faster, didn't I? Yeah. And I'm digging in. She was digging in for her life. <laughs> We're going to practice some more sandboarding now. So now we are experienced. This is going to go swimmingly. So we finished, we just got dropped back off, which is literally two minutes away from the sand dunes. We had an amazing time. So cool. I am scared of everything and I was scared of them in Peru, but here somehow it was like a new person. Yeah. I loved it. Each time yeah, you went down, you were getting more confident, yeah. you could tell. Oh. And it was yeah, so much fun sandboarding so now we've got to try snowboarding at some point yeah, no, see, was, to compare he said it's much harder obviously yeah it's like so slidey but oh my god that was so cool yeah we had the it. guy was great the the company obviously is great tarapaka uh, tarapaka Tar adventure i think tarapaka adventures yeah so uh, yeah great company oh, that's where we're staying here this is where we're staying On the night base. yeah this is their and, their place um, um, our tour guide, he was great. He was like, nothing was a trouble. He took so many videos, he ran up and down, yeah. never half and half. It was a great, great fun. So, after that adventure, we're covered in sand, we're tired, we need a shower. And so, we're gonna have a shower, food, food, and then we've got Renee coming to pick us up and take us a tour of the city. Yeah, so, so okay. yeah, we're gonna do that in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, on to the next part of today's adventure. We are busy going for day. a tour. It's a busy day. So we got back, we washed all the sand off everywhere. And we, they do laundry for five for a whole lot. God, before we paid how much? 40 something? Yeah. And here five. Oh, five overall? I thought you meant five per kilo. No, five overall. That's insane. Yeah, I know. That's about that's under five quid. Yeah. So, okay, so we're going back to Renee, our good old buddy, and. Yeah, it's going to show us around the city, the one we just saw from the top when yeah. we were sandboarding. So uh, cool. it's supposed to be nice. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so let's go find him. So it's very dangerous to swing here. Yeah, you can just see it's from those. Playa Brava. Brava means like um, tenacious. Oh, those waves are crazy. Yeah. Because of like the waves and stuff? The waves, the currents and the bottom of the beach, the bottom of the sea, and this part is very soft and dangerous so the sand kind wow. of attracts you into the bottom it's very pretty yeah this is the paradox of Iquique the mayor of Iquique uh, invest all the money and all the attention to the coastal side of the city ah oh. oh, right so it's like a different country a different city but if you start moving 
through some street into the hill direction, you're gonna find the real kick. This, for example, is the biggest skate park in South America. This one. Out the way. Yeah. Wow. It holds North America. This is the main beach, the, the touristy one. And this is okay to swim on, relax yeah, on. This yeah. This is very, very calm during the whole year. It's very nice. That's a replica of the Esmeralda. 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 Yeah. In the 19th century, we have a battleship between, well, you know, Peruvians against Chileans. That ship, that replica, the original one, fought a naval, a naval battle against a metal ship. A modern metal ship. Of course, that ship lost. <laughs> but it was heroic to our, our ancestors. Yeah that a wooden ship wanted to fight against uh, a big modern a big ship. ship. It's a spot in Chile in which you don't pay taxes. It's oh. like a duty-free zone. I heard about this. That is a duty-free area. So we have the most uh, cheapest the cheapest car in the country. Oh. Like way cheaper. That's why you have three motorcycles. Kike ends what here. The... Actually, the, the road ends there. Oh, oh yeah. No more road. Oh, okay, now, yeah, it completely idea, ends here. The idea with this road on the beginning was to connect Iquique with Arica uh -huh. through the coast. Uh, now, this spot is very popular to suicidals. For suicide? Oh, yeah. How? Why? Because or you, Big drop. or you smash your face into the rocks oh. or you just get drowned by the sea. So, oh my god. This is the spot nice. Right Beautiful view of the city. When they start to practice the surf, yeah, and they want, want to prove something to someone, they came to practice surf. Oh. Yeah, is it dangerous? Yeah. It's very dangerous. Yeah, cool. This is quite a cool area. Yeah. Like how many fishing? Are these mostly all fishing boats. Yeah, fishing boats. So that's an artificial island just there. Yeah. Made up for all those containers. Nice. Yeah. This whole area is just really nice. We saw some sea lions, but I don't think we got on the camera. I don't think so. They went away. Like occasionally they pop their heads and they. We just got to be lucky to catch there. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there. Posing for you. Look at the size of him. <laughs> oh, now he's done. Difference of each eight for that. You see, that's a truck. Small shops. Is it? Oh my god. Hello. Are they waiting for food? Yeah. So they come out the fish market and feed them and they're waiting. Oh my god, look at them. And then you got the pelicans down there, do you see them? Yeah, I saw pelicans. Hey. You waiting for food? Hello, buddy. Hello. Huh? Okay, it's feeding time.
So this is the main square. Yeah. For example, those, those, those two buildings are the Croatian club and the Spaniards club. Uh, in the 19th century, the Spaniard and the Croatian community were very important here in Iquique, yeah. before the Chileans arrived. So this whole place or this whole street, uh, during the last 10, 15 years, they have tried to keep it as much as possible as it was originally. Okay. okay. That's a beautiful building. And they made it a pedestrian path, so no more cars are allowed to go this way. We like that about plazas. When there's no cars, yeah, yeah. it's so much better. It's so quiet. Cool little market. This is like my heaven. Your heaven, souvenirs. plus souvenirs, lots yeah. of little bits, biscuits. Oh yeah, biscuits. Even in the city, it's a tsunami zone. So you see all these buildings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have not been touched. Are they not? They try not to. So they're gonna keep it like this. Yeah. yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, Piggins is our the father of our land. Okay. Higgins. There's a town, isn't there, called O'Higgins? The region. Yeah. The region. Oh, the region of Higgins. Yeah. yeah. Higgins was the one who kind of liberated us from the Spaniards. Oh. Okay. So yes, he was an Irish descendant. But very cool bars and restaurants up here. Yeah. Is this where the youngsters come out for a night out down this street? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's here the um, the party starts. Yeah. Then they move on to the south side where you are staying. Oh, oh really? Those they come down there. That is the discotheques and oh. drinking area. Ah, look at the name of this bar. Mojit. No, Lux. Where? Oh, Lux. Sorry, it's from a TV show that we watch uh, called Lucifer on Netflix. Ah. Yeah. Big waves here as well. Yeah. Now the Navy police remains here and that ship over there, the boat. Because in this part of the um, Venezuelans camp. Um, the camp here? Yeah. So they have to remain or stay here like the whole day. It's a big problem now with It emigration. was because this place at some point was crowded with tents. Really? Crowded. 300, 400 tents. Oh wow. <sighs> Beautiful coast, isn't it? Yeah, nice chilled city. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. So that's what 20, 28 years. Yeah, once. And you seen rain once. Last year, and it was like, uh, it was not a rain. It was like when in the south comes this mist with water. Okay. Oh, yeah. And that but was the it. The city was completely, I don't know, damaged. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> really? 28 because years. Because the streets do not have sewage instead of water. Yeah. Water oh, collectors. Of course. And the, the streets are flat. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But 28 years of seeing rain once yeah. is insane. That's yes. So this is the old <laughs> clock tower, wooden clock tower in the city. And they said if you walk underneath it, you're destined to come back oh, to the city. Yes. Or so we told. So should we walk underneath? Yeah. <laughs> we need to come back to um, the Easter Islands. Yeah. Easter Islands. Yeah. Don't walk together. Oh, got a little statue. Got a bust. He stopped us. All right, we're destined to come back. Yes. We've done it. So guys, we came back to the campsite slash parking lot. Uh, we're charging everything. We're about to have some teas. So we just in our tour of Akike, a little tour of the town with Renee. It was great. It was really good. So, it was fantastic. So good, Renee, been great. So good, love, good fun. Yeah. So knowledgeable, yeah. Exactly. So. And we'll put his WhatsApp at the bottom again. If anyone's in Akike and wants to do a tour, mm -hmm. uh, highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely the person to go with, rather than a tour agency or anything like that. Oh yes. Yeah. Akike, lovely city. Yeah. 
it's got everything it's got the beach it's got sand dunes it's got the adventure sports it's got the lot it's got a nice center area bars lots yeah yeah and the fish market the sea lions that was incredible honestly like highlight of the day of the trip of yeah. Iquique, yeah oh yeah no, definitely fantastic <laughs> um so yeah this is the end of Iquique make sure you like and subscribe like and, and subscribe. buy us a coffee oh yeah buy me a coffee <laughs> if you want to support the channel that'd be great so that's also linked down below bye